Hello crafters, welcome to today's video, another MayMayMadeIt.com design team project. Today we're going to be doing a gatefold card. Now I have a piece of card stock here, which is my card base, and it measures um, 6 inches by 12. And what I've done is I have scored it, if I can find my scoring tool, I've scored it the one line before the 3 inches. Now, if I can find my phone... Which I just that would graphic. make it two and and so it'd be uh, 15, 50 sixteenths. So it'd be two and no, it'd be two and seven sixteenths. I think that's right. I've got my. I have a little cheat thing on my phone. I'll show you in a second, crafters, because my. My my inches measurement knowledge is terrible. So I'm just gonna bring it up to the camera. So it's just the line before the three inch. So I've done that on both sides and that will give me my gatefold that I need. I'll tell you, today, crafters, I'm recording multiple videos today and every time I put something down, it vanishes. So I'm just bearing my card. Okay, so I get this little gap in between. Right, so I've got my card base ready. I'm going to be using uh, numerous items today. I'm going to be using the Nouveau Hybrid ink, and that's the Acorn Brown, the Squeeze Lemonade um, Distress Ink, the Wild Honey Distress Ink, Memento um, Tuxedo Black. I'm going to be using a round um, circle die, and this measures nine centimeters or three and a half inches. I'm going to be using some Nouveaux, and this is the Nouveau, um, what they call these now, Nouveau what? The Nouveau pens. Don't know, but I'm not sure which colors I'm going to be using yet. The Art Glitter Glue, I am going to be using a Distress Marker, and that's the um, Spice Marmalade. I'm going to be using a Black Sharpie, some Wiggly Jiggly Wobbly Eyes, some ink um, blending tools, some fussy cutting scissors, and I'm going to be using this. This is Bellat paper. This is just from my stash, and I'm going to be using that later. So let me just move a few things out of the way, and we can get started. I'm also using the key thing that I'm using today is Meme stand set called Alton and Olivia, and I'm going to be using three of the um, owls from it. So I'm going to get some scrap paper. So I'm just going to get some scrap paper from my stash. And I'm going to get an acrylic block. And we are going to use this one here. And this one has her eyes closed. And we're going to use this one and we're going to use that one. So I'm going to use three of the four owls that are available on the, set, on the stamp set. And I'm using the Memento Black ink. So stamping those out. That didn't come out very well. So stamp again. That's much better. Now I'm going to colour these using the, um, the Nouveau pens. So I don't need, I'm just, just so I know, I'm just going to cross that one out because I know I don't need it. Okay, so I've got some browns, I've got some greens. So I should tell you which colours I use. So I think I'm going to use the fresh watermelon, that's 377. And the, probably the black cherry, or maybe the strawberry jam. Let's do this one here. 
so I'm just going to use the not the wide tip but the bullet tip and I'm going to color these now I'm going to let the I'm going to let the pens do the work I'm not going to do a whole heap of shading and that type of thing you can if you want to but I'm just going to do what I can do and that's the 377 watermelon and this was the 379 strawberry jam so I'm going to make this one red so I'm going to make these kind of autumnal colours and what these owls are actually going to be they're going to be see no evil, hear no evil, talk no evil speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil so we're going to adapt these owls to um, work for us so this one with their eyes closed is obviously going to be the see no evil so I don't have to do much with this one at all but the other two we will do some doctrine but we'll get to that um, later on in the video so I'm going to colour these up I'm going to use the um, spice marmalade for the nose of these owls and one of the owls you're not really going to see the nose because it'd be covered because it'd be the one that says speak no evil okay so that's that one I'm going to use the um, 466 rich mahogany for the feet the claws of each owl one I'm going to use butternut squash and spiced orange and I'm going to do this one here in the middle and again I'm just going to let the let the markers do the work so that was AM 393 spiced orange and now I'm using 391 butter squash final one I think I'm going to use the uh, the vintage walnut and that's six four no four six three to use honey co and that's the six uh, three eight nine keep saying six And now I'm going to um, cut those out. So I'm going to get these cut out and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, crafters, so I have my owls cut out. Now, this one here I'm keeping as is because the eyes are closed. And um, this one here I'm going to cut away one of the um, wings.
and we are going to use the sharpie I've gone round the edges with on all of them with the sharpie but on this one I'm going to get, put the line back in just so it looks like it's a full stamped image just cut off anything that shouldn't be there and we need to put some need to give this little chappy some eyes so I'm going to look for some wobbly eyes And the reason I put the eyes on first is because I need to know where I can put the owl's wing. And this one, we are going to cover the uh, mouth. So I'm going to put some, or the beak I should say. I'm going to put some um, glue on the back. And we are going to cover the beak. So this one, it looks like he's him. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen and just so it looks like there's more of the wing there than there is so it's covering his beak so have see no evil speak no evil and these this one here will be hear no evil so I'm going to cut off the wings on both sides go over them with a sharpie on that cut edge just so it's to make it look solid and on this one we are going to cover the ears so I'm going to put one there and one on that side. So this one is here, no evil. So he's got his wings covering his ears. And we should give this one some goggly eyes too. those cheeky chappies out the way right I have this burlap um, card stock um, it was in my stash I can't remember where I got it but I'm going to use that to make a branch for my owls to sit on so I'm simply going to create a freehand a branch now you could definitely um, draw on the back of some cardstock or you could use some um, brown cardstock you could use a paper pack with some brown in it you don't have to use this burlap but I just wanted to use this for some texture so I'm just freehanding some bra a branch and right, uh, now I'm just going to die cut my circle and then we can move on to the next stage using my scrap pad and going to my two distress inks we are going to create a sun so this round circle here is going to be oh crumbs I think I might have moved my lids into the wrong place um, so I'm going to come from the outside in and I'm going to use the wild honey honey Honey, honey, kiss me, honey. And then we move over to the uh, squeeze lemonade, turning it around. Just to give that a kind of impression of the sun, the warmth of the sun. With my um, Nouveau, 
I am going to use that to just put some definition on my branch. Okay, let's bring over our card base. And what I did want to do is actually I want to curve, I want to cut my corners. So I'm going to use the my corner chomper and I'm going to use the half inch and I'm going to put some curves on my on the flaps of my card. Don't need to. I just think this adds a little bit of something. So we've got our card base, we're going to, on one side of our card, we are going to glue down our um, tree branch, making sure not to go over where it's going to be. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to put any glue where it doesn't need to be. So I wouldn't put any glue on these pieces because obviously it needs to flap over. And then the sun goes on this part. So I'm going to put the glue on my circle die cut and that goes there like that. And then we're going to stick on our lovely little owls. So we have one that sees no evil, we have one and we have one that hears no evil. So the reason I left my card bank blank white is because I have so much color and detail from these elements. So when you open it, we have the sun on one side and we have the characters on another. Okay, crafters, looking through my um, um, stamp sets from Mimi. I've got keep the faith and I think that sentiment there keep the faith is perfect for this Because you're with this card and the idea of this card is yes, it's all terminal um, And it does meet the uh, The challenge that we were given. Sorry. I didn't mention that earlier. We were given as a design team a challenge to use folds So this is why you, this is a gatefold card now as I said I wanted the white the card base is to remain white because you have you know the Sun and you have the pattern and then you have the birds um, but you know with, with anyone with faith you know you should you don't need to see any evil you don't need to speak any evil and you don't need to hear any evil so I think on the inside I think having that keep the faith stamped is a perfect sentiment for this particular card so I'm going to use my um, versifying black ink because I just love the way that stamps when it comes to sentiments I'm going to put my sentiment on a ink block I'm going to use my VersaFine. Open the card up. And I'm just going to simply put Keep the Faith. So if you make one of these cards, make sure that you just slide the sun behind the owls and there we have it um, here's another one that I did and I used my last remaining bits of my Halloween not sorry not my Halloween my celebrate autumn pad and it's completely empty now and I used some of the um, embellishments and the uh, the chipboard embellishments and this is also a fold card so it folds open that way and folds open this way then you have a section on the inside to write your message but I really like these this this, this I've never really done kind of fancy folds but I love this card here I think this will be lovely for Christmas as well so there we go there's two very simple um, cards if you want me to show you how I did this one let me know and I'll do one for um, Christmas maybe but thank you very much for joining me crafters and this is the second video of three this week. So you saw one yesterday and that was my um, Christmas pack. How much I got out of one 12 by 12. You see this one today and you'll see another one tomorrow and that'll also be one with a fancy fold. Thank you very much for joining me and you'll see me again very soon. Take care now, bye bye.